Hey guys, Bobby Hughes here with Hollow Point Firearms and today uh, I'm going to show you guys a little video on how to um, grow potatoes in your garden without breaking your back. Um, so what I'm going to start with here is I've got a couple of tires that I picked up at a local tire shop. Um, most tire shops you can uh, just swing by and ask them and they'll be happy to give them to you because they have to pay to recycle them. So uh, what I did was I started off with a couple of tires, and uh, these tires are going to be stacked on top of each other, but you need your two base tires first. So in your base tire, what you want to do is go ahead and you want to cut one of the side walls off of your base tire, all right? And then the side with the side, side wall is going to go facing down on the ground, okay? Um, so go ahead and cut that top out. All right, once you get your, your tops cut out of your, your uh, bottom tire or your sidewall cut out of your uh, bottom tire, you're going to go ahead and uh, place it wherever you want to grow your potatoes at. Um, I suggest uh, like near your garden so that way if you're watering your garden, you can go ahead and water these too. So uh, what you do is you start off with your tire, get it placed, and then you're going to fill it about uh, a quarter of the way up with straw or hay. Um, and what that does is it allows it to irrigate better, it allows it to uh, uh, breathe, and uh, it also uh, gives it a, um, separates it from the, the earth. So if you're setting it directly on the ground, it'll kind of give it some separation. Alright, so uh, once you get your uh, straw put in there, you want to go ahead and dump your dirt in. Uh, you want to fill it about halfway up with dirt. And then once you get it about halfway full of dirt, you can go ahead and plant your potatoes in it. Uh, and these are kind of bigger tires, bigger than what I normally use. Uh, but this size tire, you can plant four to five tubers in it. And uh, that'll grow, you know, uh, they'll grow in that, just in that, like a planting box sort of thing. Uh, but anyway, once your sprouts start to sprout up through the dirt, then you'll want to go ahead and uh, put another layer of straw on and then top that bottom tire off with dirt. And then once they start to sprout through that, then you'll add a second tire on top. You'll cut both the side walls out, add it on top, and then you'll put some more straw on and then another layer of dirt. And it'll fill it about halfway on that one. And then just continue the process. It'll sprout through there, add more hay and dirt, throw another tire on, straw and dirt so on and so forth you guys get the picture now at the end for the end result once you get to that point once you know you get three or four tires high when you get ready to harvest all you have to do is pull the tires apart and pull the straw away and when you pull the dirt and the straw away there will be nice clean potatoes so anyway I hope this helps you guys um, this is a really cool trick I picked up when I was a kid and uh, it really really saves your back and uh, happen to dig and things like that and uh, uh, just for an added tip on it using the uh, rubber tires uh, the tater bugs are repelled by the uh, the smell of the rubber so uh, you shouldn't have any insect issues so anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed that uh, until next time get out there shoot some guns be safe and most importantly have fun see you guys later